Good afternoon, this is Kathleen reporting from the National Action Network, Louisville, Kentucky State Chapter, and want to give you an update on John Fitzgerald Johnson, a.k.a. Grandmaster J. His legal team is doing an awesome job. They have put forth two motions. The first motion would be, of course, to acquit. And the second motion would be and or the judge to grant him a new trial. And that judge is in possession of those motions now. And this Monday, September the 26th, a decision should come from that judge as to whether to acquit or to grant Grandmaster J a new trial. We at the National Action Network and our community partners such as the Voice of Louisville and many other clergy persons and activists believe that Grandmaster J should be completely exonerated. In the meantime, we have some great activities coming up. For example, this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the world is hosting the power of prayer. There have been other power of prayer hostings at various locations around the world. And here in Louisville, at the Gospel Missionary Church here in Louisville, Kentucky. And that's going to take place tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also coming up is the National Action Network Ministers Civil Rights and Ministers Luncheon in which our keynote address is going to be given by the Reverend Ahmad Edmund. Reverend Ahmad Edmund is a graduate of Hampton University, as many of you all know, is an HBCU, and also he's working on his Master's of Divinity at Harvard University. So he's going to be giving our keynote address. Also, we're going to be honoring Bishop Dennis Lyons, who is the founder of the Bishop's Table, and that's located every Friday morning from 9 to 10 a.m., Eastern Standard Time, whereas you have politicians, clergy, activists, grassroots individuals that come from all walks of life. They come to the bishop's table to express their point of view and to share information about what's going on in their neighborhoods and in their communities. And so we have a lot of great activities that are coming on. Also, the following day, on October the 15th, activists from all over the city and all over the country will be joining us in a rally to free the voices of Breonna Taylor. Many of these protesters are still facing charges that they received as a result of participating in, pre in a protest and marches that occurred surrounding the death of Breonna Taylor at the hands of four officers that have been investigated by the Department of Justice and they are still being investigated. It is not complete yet. The investigation has not been totally complete. So we, they are still working on that. Also, uh, the protesters are going to be participating in this rally. The activists are going to be participating in this rally to free Grand Master J, to support the Grand Master J campaign. Finally, we have an election coming up in Kentucky on November the 8th. And I would advise many of you all, that are listening to this podcast today to support the candidates that support you. Thank you and free the protesters and free Grandmaster Jay. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.